Welcome to PCR London Valves 2024. My name is Fernando Sarnago from Doce Octubre Hospital in Madrid, Spain. And I've got the pleasure to be here with uh, Angel Sanchez Recalde, my colleague from Hospital Ramón y Cajal, also in Madrid, Spain. And we're here to talk about the trick by Cabal Registry. Angel, let me introduce very briefly about the device itself. It's a registry just uh, using the trick valve system. Probably many of you know about it. It's a, a, a therotopic valve for tricuspid regurgitation where you have a dedicated device that you implant in superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. And uh, I'd like to ask you first about the registry. How was it done? Which patients were included? What are your thoughts about the registry? Please, Angel. Good morning, Fernando. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, yeah, the, the, the trip by cabal registry is the first registry which provides real-world information on the efficacy and safety of the device in a, a large number of patients uh, treated with uh, tricuspid regurgitation. So um, it's a highly comorbid patient population because 70% uh, of the patients had a, a renal insufficiency. The predicted mortality rate, according to three score, is very high, it's 23%. Also more than 80% of the patients had at intermediate or high uh, risk 3 score. 34% of the patients had pacemaker leads. The vast majority of the patients had massive autorential TR. And very importantly, 60% of the patients had at least one hospital admission the year before uh, the treatment. So it's a very sick patients, a very high comorbid patient population. And what are the main results of the, of the registry? The main results of the, of the registry, the, 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 the trick by cable registry confirmed the favorable result from the trick zero study with 35 patients. The main conclusion is that this registry confirmed that the patients treated with three valve improved the functional class, decreased significantly the, uh, the rate of peripheral edema, the ascites, in general, the, 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 the venous congestion, and very important is uh, the dramatic reduction in the heart rate hospitalization. There is a 60% of uh, relative risk reduction in the rate of hospitalizations in the, um, in the first year of follow-up compared with the year before the implantation of uh, the three valve. So that, those are very, very promising results. How, how do you consider, how does the this put the device in comparison to previous results of some of the devices or therapies like the Triluminate or the Tristan 2 registry so studies? Yeah, the Triluminate uh, trial and Tristan trial demonstrated the same. So uh, there was significant reduction or improvement in the um, quality of life, functional class, but there were no differences in terms of mortality rate or readmissions. So the, the, the results are quite similar. But the problem with Triluminate uh, and with the uh, with, uh, H2 trace repair is uh, nearly 50% of the patients are rejected or bad candidates for this technology. And also between 20 and 30% of the patients, um, we can expect uh, a good result, moderate or less than moderate residual TR. And when you have moderate or more than moderate residual TR, this is related with high mortality. So this is an option, but an option for 50% of the patients. So the other modalities is the orthotopic replacement. In this case, we have the 3 s 2 trial, but the problem with the 3 s 2 trial is uh, there is a high rate of pacemaker. It's about 18% of, 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 the, of the patients uh, needed a pacemaker, uh, a pacemaker. And also the, um, the bleeding. 50% uh, of the patients had a severe bleeding. And also very important is the, uh, the failure, the, the, screen, the screen failure rate is very high. So the three valve, the rate of uh, failure screen is very low. We can treat a wide range of patients. Patients um, that uh, are rejected for, uh, for uh, uh, re tricuspid repair or replacement but you can treat patients in the, an early stage of the disease. So I think it's a good therapy because it's an easy one procedure and it's a fluoroscopy procedure. You don't need a, a good imaging. You can do it only with astrolytic echo and you don't need general anesthesia. So it's a very, very uh, straightforward procedure and you can do it in 30 
to 30 to 60 minutes. And uh, considering all of that, Angel, um, what would be your workflow if you receive now a patient with uh, severe or massive uh, tricuspid regurgitation? Where would you put this device, the trick valve system? It's depending on the hospital. You can treat uh, patients with three valve in a wide range of anatomies or the patients in an early stage, also in at, at uh, the end stage of the disease. In my case, in my case, I prefer to treat the patients early and to do repair. So anuloplasty or edge to edge. And also the second step is to treat patients with orthotopic replacement. But it's true that there, that, that, that there are a lot of patients that is impossible to treat with, uh, to treat with uh, repair or orthotopic replacement. In those cases, the only solution is to, to implant a trig valve. And it's a very good solution. Okay, and, and also I, I know that there is going to come some more evidence, some more upcoming evidence with this device. What can you tell us about the upcoming studies? Yeah, it's true. Nowadays, um, the TRICAP-1 uh, is a, a single arm study. It's taking place in the US. They are recruiting patients. But the biggest study is the TRICAP-2 study. It's a randomized trial that we, uh, will include uh, 400 patients and it's randomized to um, optimal medical treatment against optimal medical treatment plus uh, CAVI device. It's, uh, it's two to one uh, uh, rate, and, uh, and I think uh, it will be the greatest study to demonstrate the efficacy and the safety of uh, the trigger valve. Thank you, Angelo. So uh, in summary, if, if we want to just give some take-home messages, I, I think the trig valve uh, device just uh, Having a look to the results of this registry has very promising results. And my take home messages, uh, probably you agree with me, Angel, is that it's a very simple uh, procedure, just floral guided mainly, that it's useful not only for simple patients, but also for complex patients. And uh, for nowadays, it's just a, a very, very promising uh, procedure that can give you give you very, very uh, a good solution for, for your patients. Thank you, Angel. Thank you.